Hello, welcome back to our weekly Torah portion class. This week's portion is Tazria, which means um, uh, seated. It, it's actually a word that's used here for um, a woman who become who conceives. Uh, and that's how the Torah portion begins. But most of the Torah portion actually is, takes up the issue of tzara'at. Uh, tzara'at. What is tzara'at? That is the Hebrew word that is used here. And I purposely did not use the typical English translation of that word, which is leprosy. Because the question is, is tzara'at leprosy? Now, leprosy, as we know it today, is something that is often also referred to as Hansen's disease, and it's a very particularly infectious disease that has been rampant, had, as thank God, been eradicated in most parts of the world, uh, and is treated with antibiotics. Um, when uh, there's, there's a number of issues here, if you read the details, as uh, Tzara'at is described here. First of all, the way, you know, Tzara'at, Hansen's disease, leprosy is usually a deadening of the limbs, uh, and that is not something that is mentioned anywhere here uh, in the description of Tzara'at. Tzara'at is described as various kinds of um, uh, growths or, 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 or afflictions that appear on the skin, different kinds of colors. It could be white, it can be black, it could be red. Each of these different things reflect um, uh, the, an aspect of the Tzara'at disease, and that does not match uh, what Hansen's disease is, which is how we normally understand leprosy. So it is clearly not that disease. Uh, if you want to continue and call it leprosy, so long as you know in your head that it is a different disease, that's fine. But anyway, what is this disease? And again, let's, let's just read a, a, a few of the beginning. We won't go into all the details, but just let's read a bit so that we can have an understanding of what's going on here. And God spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising, a scab, a bright spot, and it be in the skin of his flesh like the affliction of Tzara'at, then he shall be brought into Aaron the priest, or to one of his sons the priest, and the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh, and when the hair in the plague is turned white, and the plague in sight is deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is the affliction of Tzara'at. And the priest shall see him and pronounce him unclean. Uh, and then, that's the initial description, but it continues to go on all different varieties, different ways the skin might look. And in every case, the individual who has this kind of affliction and he suspects it may be Sarat, he has to go to the priest and is the priest who ultimately will determine whether or not he has this affliction and is the priest who will ultimately cure him. Hello, I'm Sandra Barris, and we're back again with our weekly Torah portion class. This week's Torah portion is Mitzorah, and that is a person who has Tzara'at, very often translated as a leper, but as we discussed in last week's class, I have a hesitancy in using the word leprosy because the modern disease of leprosy is clearly not what this particular affliction is all about. Uh, this week's Torah portion continues the discussion of Tzara'at and focuses primarily on the various methods that the priest has to engage in in order to purify somebody who is afflicted with Tzara'at. Then we go on in chapter 14, verse 33, we have the introduction of a completely new type of Tzara'at, a Tzara'at of a house. Now this, you will admit, is a very strange phenomenon. We can identify tzara'at, whether we see it as a medical ailment or a spiritual ailment. It manifests itself as some kind of a skin disease. Uh, what then is tzara'at of a house? I have a friend who likes to joke, but whenever we talk about it, says, oh, it's just mold. Well, it could be that it manifests itself like mold. But again, given that it has the same name tzara'at as the affliction of the skin, we have to assume that it has a very similar spiritual source as, uh, as the, the similar kind of tzara'at um, 
uh, when you talk about the house as a, when we talk about the skin. Anyway, so there are different approaches to what this actually is. And there is an approach, again, that goes back to the time of the Mishnah that says there never actually was such a thing as tzara'at of a house, but the reason it is written in scripture is that we can delve into it, we should try to understand uh, a certain deeper meaning of this whole thing, and that is the purpose of it being written here. Well, that may or may not be. I don't, we have no record of something like this ever taking place, but let's do at least what this Mishnah tells us. Let's take a look if we can ascertain a deeper meaning and try to understand what it is that this scripture is talking about. To watch this program in its entirety, go to www.glc.us.com or simply click the link below.